Okay, we're here with offensive coordinator Bill Musgrave. If you could let me know in the chat if you have questions for Coach, that'd be great. We'll get started with Jeff Ferrato from Cal Sports Report. Good afternoon, Bill. I wonder if you could uh, tell us what you see when you look at a couple of the Colorado linebackers, Nate Landman, um, who's just got a bazillion tackles in his career, and Carson Wells, who seems to be a guy who gets a lot of tackles for loss. Yeah, both those guys, 53 and 26. Uh, 53 has had an amazing career all the way back to, was it 2017 or 18? And um, too bad he's had an injury or two, but he's uh, he's their leader. So we've got to count for him. And then Carson Wells, uh, number 26, is just wiry and slippery and um, like a wisp of smoke out there trying to block him. They've had some problems with their offense, but their defense been fairly consistent and pretty good most of the year. How do you assess them on that side of the ball? Well, their defense is good. Yeah, we're, I mean, there's no rest for the weary. We're, we face some good defenses already, but the, this is probably the best group we've seen to date. Their front seven is active. They hammered Texas A&M. Um, uh, they're, they're straightforward. They appear to know exactly what they're doing, and they do it well. Thanks, Bill. So we'll go to Trace Travers from Rivals. Yeah, Coach, you guys have had a lot of success on your scripted early drives. I think 80 or uh, seven, I want to say 17 total touchdowns have come on within the first two drives, but the rest of them have come in the vast majority of other drives. The other nine have come in your other 48 drives. How do you uh, assess not – scoring as much when stuff isn't scripted well we're not scripting the first one either we're just okay. starting really fast we just got to sustain mm -hmm. sustain better and at times we have sustained in certain games we've scored in the other quarters as well um we just want to keep doing a good job of being more and more consistent as we proceed gotcha gotcha and uh, i asked justin this yesterday uh Jeremiah Hunter has been very effective for you guys. I think all three of his catches against Oregon were over 20 yards. How do you get him the ball more? Yeah, we would love to do that. He's um, outstanding practice every day. He uh, does something tremendous as well. So getting him on the field and getting the ball headed his way is a, is a top priority, um, as it is with a, a number of our skill guys. So we're going to keep working to be more consistent. Um, and I get them more touches. We did get more plays on Friday night than we had had in previous weeks. So that's the first step. And uh, we want to continue with those steps to, even though we have more opportunities, we want to get the ball in our playmakers' hands more frequently. All right. Thank you. Okay, we'll go to David Bush from Barry Insider. Uh, yeah, Coach, uh, just how would you assess the state of your running game right now? Are you happy with it? Uh, should you? Are there areas you, where you could really get better with it? Yeah, I'd say there were a number of areas that we would like to vastly improve in our run game. So we're working hard on it. Yesterday we had a real good day. It was a physical practice, full pads. Um, went against the California defense in some really uh, O versus D periods. And then, of course, worked on our Colorado looks that we anticipate seeing from the Buffalo. So the running game, what we're constantly working on, but it definitely uh, – we like to get it ramped up in terms of more explosive runs. Um, you know, so we don't have to convert as many third downs and get down the field that much quicker. Is it a question of uh, schemes? Is it a question of, uh, you know, particular plays? To, uh, what's, what's the main issue? Well, I think we do need to have better uh, concepts. We're always working hard to self scout and make sure that we're putting our guys in position to be successful. So, we're continually working on not only um, replicating our good concepts, but weeding out the ones that aren't so effective and uh, replacing them with things that may be complementary to the good things we do. And how does the offensive line figure in that? Are they, do they need to step it up? Well, I think they've been working hard. I think they've been knocking people around and, you know, we want to do things that are up their alley and fit their dominant traits. So, um, Certain guys are really good at pulling. Other guys are good at double teams. Um, certain guys are better maybe blocking linebackers, you know, at linebacker level. So we're continually working to make sure that that run game 
uh, scheme and game plan is is airtight and as effective as we can make it. Thanks. Hey guys, uh, Jeff Frado looks like you have another question. Go ahead, Jeff. Yeah, Bill, it, it seems like last couple of games, defenses are gearing more to try to stop Chase when he wants to run. Are you seeing that or, or are you just having him run less? I think they, I think they watched the film from our previous games and they know he's a threat with his legs. So one would think that they'd be practicing those plays, especially when he was effective running you know, so well with the scrambles earlier in the season and then the orchestrated QB runs, for instance, up in Seattle. Um, one would think that those those opponents are trying to stop those plays because they have been effective uh, for our offense. But we're, we're going to continue to run him when we can. We also want to keep him out of harm's way and not not get him injured for sure. We're, you know, his health is – all of our players' health are at the foremost of our concerns. So – but uh, Chase does a nice job when we do ask him to run. And then, of course, his scrambles are effective, too. And, and is it good for you guys just the fact that the opposing defense has to worry about it and it recognizes that threat? I believe so. I believe it makes us uh, more difficult to defend and um, where they can't just uh, play Chase uh, for his throws through the air, but they also have to respect his legs that that should help the pass rush a little bit. As you saw on Friday night, they devoted not one, but at times two guys to spy Chase just in case he escaped the pocket rather than pinning their ears back and purely rushing the passer. Yeah, thanks. Okay, guys, anybody with a final question? Give me a couple seconds.